Hey guys, Tony here with nothing but car reviews, bringing you another product review. If you keep up with the channel, you've noticed I haven't been posting like I usually do, and this is part of the reason I've been trying to get this thing at least usable. This is my 1984 Winnebago. It's on a G30 Chevy chassis, 27 feet long, or 24 feet, something like that, but been working with a carburetor, put a new Edelbrock on there, and it's just been, it's been a hot mess because this was in rougher shape than it is now. It's, uh, it's coming along, but I put my solar stuff back in. I took it out, but I kind of have it where I want it now. And that brings me to this product here. I had a smaller fridge, well, a bigger fridge in here, but it was just an older traditional small refrigerator. This one is literally made for RVs, made to be portable, and I will say that I am pretty impressed with it so far. This is Bouge RV's portable car refrigerator, so a lot of people with Jeeps or if they just kind of take their Subaru out, this is what they use this for, but me particularly, once I kind of get some furniture in here, tables or whatnot, you can see it's on this old table here, but I'm gonna, I plan on putting a table right there. I might even just set it up here if it'll fit, but I'm gonna have my portable refrigerator over here so I can get to that. And then my big battery down here, been struggling a little bit. So I'm gonna try and get a zero volt charger and jumpstart that back up so I can use everything here and I can plug in my air conditioner and things of that nature. But for now, I just have the Bouge RV fridge in here. What makes this so cool is literally, if you wanted to go out for, let's say a day, you have the refrigerator here, or the refrigerator here, excuse me, and then you have a nice power bank that's literally made for this. So you literally get a portable refrigerator. You don't have to hook up any wires other than what runs from the power station to the actual fridge, and it won't drain your car battery. You don't have to have a generator or anything like that, just clean power. So I actually charged this last night up. I think it was like at 70%. I woke up this morning to 100, so I'm sure it was charged up quite a bit before I woke up this morning, but it's been on here for about 10 minutes, and I kind of just started everything up from a stall, so it's going to use more wattage as it gets up to temperature here, and it even shows you, I have the plastic cover on here still, but it shows you temperature of the fridge, voltage being used, and all of that so it's a really neat product in my opinion so i can adjust temperature here what i want to set to go into your settings here and then you can just really set everything up and what's neat is you can hold this for three seconds and it'll cut it off so let's say the drinks are cold enough in here speaking of which that's what the inside looks like so not humongous but i love having the led light there it's actually really cold. I don't know why it's saying it's 57 degrees, but it feels pretty nice in there. It'll cool some canned drinks there. Speaking of which, I like that it shows you the preservation temperature for whatever you may use, need to use it for. So me, I'll probably have water mostly. So Fahrenheit's over here. That's probably what I'd have it at mostly. But what's neat about this is this actually gives you the ability to hit sub-zero temperatures. And you can see it here in the instruction manual. So you can use it as a fridge or refrigerator. And you can see there, negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is very impressive. And then you even have an eco mode and all of that, which you can adjust from here as well. But the instruction manual is so easy to follow and really you can just plug this in and start and it's pretty easy you have four buttons i mean it's pretty easy to get it going and then you have the instructions right there if for whatever reason you can't get it started biggest thing for me was getting this to this so you have several cords that come with the actual refrigerator the power station was shipped by itself because of the battery but as you can see here you can go in, power the thing on or off. You have an LED light here and you can literally just go through different settings for that. There's an input here. You can use a USB-C in and out there. You get a USB-A out there so you can charge two devices at once. 
while you have your fridge on and it'll show you the difference between the wattage because this is one of those instantaneous kind of power meters here like in your cars in the newer ones it'll show you all right when you floor it you're getting two miles per gallon but when you're coasting down a hill you're getting 99 miles per gallon or whatever and this is always updating which i love so especially as you put new devices in let's say cut the temperature down on here cut this off i'll just show you that it'll literally adjust and show you how much power is being used so as soon as i shut that thing off zero watts and then as soon as i cut it back on you'll see that adjust here as it starts pulling power so just a super impressive product in my opinion the space in here if you want to put your especially for a picnic or a day out you have your meat on one side with your cheese let's say i don't know spinach if you want to put that on there small thing of mustard and then you can have a couple waters a couple cokes maybe even a couple beers on that side there have you a nice day out now i was actually going to do an unboxing as you can see i did unbox it but there was so much here this is my first time using a product like this that is meant to be portable so i tried to do an unboxing video and i just got overwhelmed especially in this smaller space where i still have a lot of stuff that needs to be put up and moved around where i'm still working on the engine and whatnot that's why the whole front of the the back is taken up but you get so much here you even get an energy guy which is nice you wouldn't expect that on a portable fridge but you get that and then you can register for the 24 month warranty and then again the user manual here so all that comes in there the battery bank is shipped separately so that's something i didn't necessarily have a a menu for or an instruction manual for but pretty easy to use everything makes sense and i really love this because it's not overly heavy it's a big boy but it is portable it's easy to kind of lug this around and then you can see just to show you as an example if i want to take a power cord plug it in here pretty easy to just plug that into the usb a port got to scoot this over a little bit That's the only other thing is this likes to get loose in this housing here. So you want to make sure that you keep that where it's supposed to be and keep it steady. But it's back on now where it detected that it had been shut off because it lost connection to the actual so output. Big thanks to Bouge RV for reaching out and giving me the opportunity to review this product here. Definitely plan on keeping this for years to come. This is probably my favorite thing about the whole setup here, but the fridge is awesome. It's not overly heavy when it's empty. And then again, the storage is not bad either. One of my favorite things is you can actually slide this out if you don't want to use a divider and you really get a almost like an igloo or a, you know, a portable tailgating cooler effect there. But the divider is really neat because you can kind of keep your food separated. But again, thanks to Bouge RV for allowing me to review this product today. I'll leave a couple links below in the description if you all want to take advantage of a discount. You can do that. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this Bouge RV portable refrigerator as well as the 220 watt hour power station. I'll catch y'all in the next one.